My name is Bryce Eusebio. I am 17 years old. Uh, 10 years ago ako maarte. Mm -hmm. Samba ako. Yeah, lumaki po ako sa Metro Manila. And I'm the happy pill of the sport mm -hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Winona Collins. I'm 16 years old and this is my first time to show this and I'm happy to be here. And I'm known as the dancing fashionista of the sport mm -hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Gaya Misha. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Imuska Vipe I actually joined the Boy Skips back in 2019 and I made it to the finals. I'm a finalist under Team Leia. Thank you. Um, so, hello po sa inyong lahat. Uh, my name is John Clifford. I'm 16 years old. And, uh, isa rin po akong Cebuano. So, maruno akong magbisaya. Maying adlaw sa inyong tanan, mga Cebuanos. Mga bisaya, maying adlaw. So, um, I am a singer. Uh, I sing songs from Sean Mendes, Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber, and I am a dancer. Then I love dancing to K-pop songs. And, um, I'm a print ad and commercial model. Um, I started performing ever since I was seven years old. Yeah, I appeared in Promail Aisha and Dan um, season three. So that was my first appearance, boy. And then after that, that's when I started having print ads and commercials. So yes, boy. So Sparkle Teens, I am the adventurous performer. Thank you. I'm going to go Okay, not, di ba? Mm -hmm. And yun po, gusto ko rin po kumanta, uh, mag-martial arts, uh, maroon po umacting, and dancing po, yung nag-aaralan yan. Pero ang focus ko nga po ngayon po is pag-acting po. Yeah. You're the son of Roy? Yes po. Ah, okay. And Lala Vincent. And Lala Vincent. Okay. Alright, um, so uh, kanina tinanong ko yung iba sa inyo about your dreams, no? But Right now, um, medyo marami kayo. You know that uh, on a personal level. How do you think you would shine as part of the Sparkle Teams? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I can say po na I'm a brave person. Mm -hmm. I'm a challenger. Uh, like I said a while ago, po, a part of my challenge was to learn the Tagalog, mm -hmm. to learn the language of Tagalog. Kasi, um, ako po ay isang Cebuano, mm -hmm. and I was, I'm fluent Bisaya po talaga. And before, I was really trying to improve my Tagalog skills. Mm -hmm. So I really took on the challenge and attended Philippine workshop, Tagalog workshop, mm -hmm. so I could improve my Tagalog skills. Yes? Ako, I'm a believer po kasi of yung puso. Mm -hmm. dapat may puso ka. Like, ano yung looks and talent? Kung wala ka naman puso, wala ka hard work, wala ka respeto sa craft. Mm -hmm. So, I think, uh, yun yung pinapalakas ko ngayon. Mm -hmm. I don't say na, ako yung malaki-malaki na yung puso ko. Pero yun yung parang, that's the, my secret weapon mm -hmm. ginagamit ko na uh, para hindi lang puro labas, mm -hmm. pero din dapat sa loob. Alright. How about you, dear? For me, po, um, I can super, first of all, po, super talented, super babay po yung sport. I can say that I'm a risk taker. Before, po, I'm really shy. I'm like mm -hmm. super introvert. But, <laughs> pero, I really, I do it myself. Uh, para mag-audition sa sport. And I'm really trying my best mm -hmm. all the time. And I'll continue to do my best. How about you, dear? Ako naman po, I, since I'm a singer, I think my strength here would be my experience. Since ever since I was seven years old, I have also been performing. I have also been recognized globally, internationally. Nag-W po pa ka na ba? Nag-W po pa po. In 2018. And I'm a world champion. Oh, wow. I also brought a lot of medals to our country. And last year, I was recognized as the global child prodigy of 2023. Oh, wow. And... 
Siguro ikaw din. Um, what are you bring to the table? I mean, marami kasi kayo. How would you think you would stand out? Um, important po dyan is mabait ka sa tao. Uh -huh. Mas pituhin niyo sila. Maging humble ka lang. At hardworking po ang tao. Professional. Uh -huh. At ang um, alam ko lang po is, sabi po ng dad ko, kahit boss man yan o staff, dapat mas putihin natin yan kasi yun lang po talaga mag-aangat sa'yo at makikita ng tao, eh bakit ganyan yan? Sungit-sungit. Siyempre po, maalam natin yan. And ano naman po gagawin mo sa, sa palit kung pangit naman ugali mo? <laughs> yun lang po importante sa showbiz. Maging mabait ka lang at hardworking ka. Alright, thank you. Prior to joining ng showbiz, no? uh, paano kayo na-discover at kung baga ano yung ginagawa ng mga workshop? Mm -hmm. So, um, I started po ever since I was 7 years old. So, yun nga, before I auditioned for Promil National Talent Club Season 3, I joined an acting workshop. And then, I remember po after nung recital ng acting workshop na yun, tumiretso ako sa um, audition. Tapos, ang dami po talagang kids. I saw, kahit yung mga ka-workshop ko doon sa acting, I saw all of them. And I remember yung number ko, number 400 po po. So, um, that's how I started. So, I auditioned under singing category. And then, I was part of the, I was fortunately part po doon sa 40 people na na-call back. And then, doon na po, sunod-sunod, um, I was part, I was, I, I'm so blessed to be part of the, one of the, top 12 finalists uh, I shine and then after that I started doing print ads and commercials and then um, flashback to 2021 that's when I decided to audition at the Sparkle Gaming Artist Center. Um, so I'm pretty, I would love to be a part of the number one talent management team. so I really auditioned for them unfortunately um, GMA welcome to you with open arms. Ano ba? Actually, nag-start po ako sa kabilang network, sa ABS-CBN po. Mm -hmm. Like, parang mag-audition na ako for a show, and then nasa food court ako ng ABS. And then one of the producers, lumapit sila sa akin, hindi, hindi po niya alam na mag-audition ako. Tapos nakita na lang niya ako, tapos sabi niya, uy, audition ka sa taas. Yun po yung naaalala ko. I was 7 years old at that time, 2013. Tapos before showbiz, ah, may ilig ako maglaro, bata. <laughs> bata pa po ako talaga. Uh, yeah. I'm just a student nun. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Um, for me naman po, before entering the showbiz, I'm doing a content phase on social media. Mm -hmm. I used to vlog. I'm gonna continue vlogging again, especially with Sparkle yes. Teens. Yeah, I, you're the Sparkle Teens. Um, I used to vlog and post a lot of like my outfits on Instagram, mm -hmm. on YouTube. And I got scouted by a manager who has been in audition as a sparkle and I'm here with them and I'm happy. Um, actually, I'm under Cornerstone, me and Antonio were mm. under Cornerstone. So we were able to audition. We were able, they told us well, to audition here as a sparkle and thankfully we got in. We're very happy to. It was, for me, it was a long process. Well. Through a very fruitful one. For every single audition that I went through, there was something that parang binaon ka lang as experience. So, so you guys are still in school? Um, for me, po, yes, it is really a challenge din po na to balance um, showbiz career and you know, education. But um, as much as possible, po, kapag may free time ako, um, I really try to finish yung mga assignments, yung mga projects ko po. So, yes, um, time management. Same thing with Clifford. It's been really hard balancing. Because dami po namin workshops and preparation for this. Pero same thing with Clifford. It's a free time po namin. Dun po po ginagawa yung school po, mga projects, mga tests, mga projects. Sa pangarin po, scholar na po sana ako sa beta. Basketball. And yun po, makita po ako ng corner store sa TikTok, Instagram, na kunin mo kaya to. And yun, 
uh, umili na lang po kami sa homework with the DTN. That's why babalance po yung work po and um, pag-study po. Ako as I mentioned, I'm also homeschooled. I agree po with Clifford and Buenona. It's really about yung time management. Pero over the quarantine, I was able to get used to it. And thankfully, my school is very supportive. Shout out po sa mga teachers ko po and my principal. Since sila po talaga, they're also one of my supporters po hanggang ngayon po. So thank you po to them. And whenever I have free time po, I really devoted to my studies because hindi ko po nakakalimutan yung studies ko. Of course, they're very important. Uh, ako naman, yeah, same with everyone. Time management lang talaga. You just have to set your priorities. Uh, lalo ngayon kasi, ang hirap mag-catch up sa school kasi alas araw-araw po kami may ganap. And, hindi naman pwedeng habang worship ko sumasayaw ko gumagawa ka naman. So, ayun, gusto ko lang din po mag-ano, pasensya na po sa school ko kasi marami pa ako mga pending homeworks. <laughs> Yun po. Um, just to add lang po, um, gusto pa rin namin magpasalamat sa GME kasi GME has also been very understanding when it comes to our education. Yes po, na kunwari kung may mga exams and um, may conflict sa workshop, then GME would understand us and let us prioritize the schools. Mm -hmm. That's thanks. GMA is 